Good afternoon, good evening, everyone. Um, I basically, I'm gonna try to keep this video short. Um, for a while, um, I haven't officially made a video about this, but I have been sharing it um, to, I believe the people that God has put it, I'm a spirit to share it too, um, but now I'm getting ready to basically share it for the whole world um, because I don't want people to not know and I feel like this is a way for um, you to have an opportunity I'll say it like that so you can have an opportunity um, to you know get yourself right and get yourself together um so this dream happened oh my goodness it happened spring of 2015 so it happened about a year ago um i know it's been but but you know what it's like even so i can still so vividly and explicitly remember the dream like I could tell you word for word what happened um, it was just that vivid um, during this time um, you know I was really heavily consecrated um, you know I wasn't watching TV I wasn't um, really on social media that much I was on it but um, you know I really was mostly spending time with God I was consecrated I was setting myself apart literally um from the mass public and I, I was really kind of in my word and you know really you know having really deep in-depth bible studies it was just it was awesome um and so during this time um this dream really happened randomly um i hadn't asked for it um i just I, it just God just revealed it to me um, so I had had a dream I had went to sleep and in the dream uh, in the dream um, I had almost not almost so it was like I was watching it was like I was there but I wasn't real like okay it was like I was there but it was like and, and so I was mostly like watching it like wa like watching it happen um, um so basically it was like this this cliff it was this large cliff and it was dark um, and it was hot um, and it was all of these people I mean as far back as the eye could see it was all of these people and they were standing on this cliff and one by one they it was almost like it was almost like they would they they would come up so one by one they would come up to the to the edge of the cliff and it's almost like it was judgment so it was like you know if you were found to you know not have repented of your sins whatever those sins may be um you you were sent to the pit and so in this line i distinctly remember seeing td jakes he was in this line i remember seeing joel austin um i remember i believe seeing oprah i believe i remember seeing um Joyce Meyer, I saw Joyce Meyer. 
they were in this line and I distinctly remember seeing them you know, out of all of these people that were in this line and I was in the back of them like I was in line but I was like a few like if I looked ahead of me I could see a few people up and then I could see like Joyce Meyer or and I could see TD Jakes and so it was like it was like I was in the line but I could see the front of the line if that makes sense like so as the line moved up it was like they came to the to the to the edge and then it was almost like something I don't want to say pushed them off of the cliff, but like a force um, or a, a um, was like whoosh, and they just kind of like fell. They began to fall off of this cliff. And I remember watching T.D. Jakes fall off this cliff. And when I got to the edge of the line, I looked over the edge of the cliff and I saw literally it was like it was like this this lake of fire like it wasn't lava it was fire but it was like it was like liquidy fire and all of the people that had fallen off of this cliff, they, whew, got a chill. They, um, they were crying. They were screaming. And to this day, I remember and 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 can hear the screams. And when I tell you, it's nothing like anything I've ever dreamed about before. Um, the screams were so terrified and they were pleading and they were crying out to God and they were like God save us God it hurts save us save us help us help us and the fire I mean it was literally like you know in the movies where you know somebody gets burned and like in in some of the more explicit scenes where you see literally like the fire kind of like eat away at their skin and kind of eat away at you know their hair and you know just kind of like start to disfigure them that's really what it was like it was like the fire melted their skin and so I was seeing their skin melt and I was seeing it was just so just it was just and it was like you could smell just burning fire it was just oh and you could smell burning flesh and like with, with the screams and I just remember seeing demons and they would fly over these people they, they would fly over the people that were screaming and they would reach their hands that would be just disfigured and burned and they would reach up toward the sky and and they would say, God, help us. God, save us. Save us from this. Please help us. And the demons literally would fly over their head. They would fly over their head and they would laugh. And this was some of the most demonic laughter. Like, I just can't describe. Just It was just like, I can't even replicate it, clearly. But it, it, the way that these demons were laughing. I mean, it was just, it was sickening, and it was disgusting, and I was just like, oh my gosh, like, and they laughed in such a way that it was like, no one's gonna help you, you know what I'm saying, like, it's pointless, you're, you're screaming for help, and no one's coming to help you, it was, it was almost like, I don't I don't I don't know it just they they and so I remember hearing the voice of God and he was so grieved and that's when I woke up from this that's 
toppled with everything else, that's really what um, broke my heart. It was just how grieved God sounded. And I remember God saying, I cannot help you. can't save you I, I can't I can't bring you out of there you chose this you chose to come here there is nothing I can do to save you there's nothing I can do to bring you out And I mean it was just the way he said it I mean he sounded so heartbroken, so sad that his people had chosen the pit. And that there, at that point, was nothing that he could do. There was nothing that he could do. Um, and so... I say this because I want you all who will watch this I want you all to be aware that judgment is imminent judgment is coming that Christ Jesus is closer than we can even like perceive um, and I really feel like uh, during this time, I remember feeling, literally could feel like the breath of, of, of Christ, the breath of God was literally like breathing upon us. Like that's just how close I felt that he was here, that he was near. Like, I, I mean, almost like I could reach out and touch him like he was that close. And so I say this to you guys um as a warning like i know you've probably heard many people many prophets many apostles many teachers um apostles many people many evangelists many people tell you to get right many people you know tell you that judgment's coming and you know, that you need to get it you need you know you need to get your life together you need to repent of your sins and I know that a lot of you haven't listened you know that that a lot of you have just kind of passed it off like oh, okay there you go again you keep saying the same thing I've heard this several. but I'm 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 telling you I'm telling you that this is real that this is not a joke this is not a game that God is going to judge each and every one of us and that the people because I feel like it's easy to get complacent and it's easy to think oh I'm a Christian I'm a Christian I'm okay you need to continually, continuously ask God to search your heart because there may be things that, you know, you still are holding on to, you know, myself included, you know, I'm, I'm not perfect and I'm constantly trying to make sure that and actively make sure that God is searching me so that I'm ready, so that I'm, I'm right. Um, but I wanted to just extend this to you because I just, I, you guys don't, don't understand the, the vividry of this dream that I had. And I tell this to people as, as, as I wanted, like to, to tell them like, okay, y'all, but no, like y'all need to get right. Y'all need to get ready because God is like, Christ is coming. Christ is coming. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. He's coming. And he's coming really soon. I mean, like, sooner than I think we 
think or expect like he's he's like so close he's like this close this close to us right now this close and time is, is really going to run out and I want to make sure that I'm letting you guys know so that you know please if you guys haven't repented if you guys are sinning and not and ignoring the word of God ignoring what God has told you to do please repent please repent and repent now repent now because the time will come where it will be too late to repent it will be too late to ask God for forgiveness it will be too late to enter into a relationship with Christ Jesus his son it will be too late and then y'all gonna just be out here and I don't want that to happen to anybody I, I I remember telling one of my friends about the dream about this dream and I remember crying on the phone and I was like I don't want anybody to experience this I I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy I wouldn't wish this on my worst. I wouldn't wish this on anybody. I mean, if you could see the way that I saw just the skin and the fire and the screams and the way that they were falling into this pit. I mean, it was just like, and I don't wish this for nobody. I don't wish this for nobody. Hell is not, like, you watching pornography ain't worth it it's not worth going to hell you getting drunk till you passed out it's not worth it you you know having premarital sex it's not worth going to it's not it's you fornicating it's not worth it it's not you lying and being dishonest it's not worth it you being uh uh you know spiteful towards somebody it's not worth it you not forgiving somebody which is what I'm personally working on myself it's not worth it and I I've acknowledged that it's not worth it and so that's why I'm actively like Lord like I've been praying that God helped me to forgive for a very long time and and to be very honest I feel like I'm the one that's still trying to kind of hold on to it and so I need to let the Holy Spirit work and I need to let the Holy Spirit usher in forgiveness because it's not worth going to hell for it's not worth going to hell for so I just wanted to let you guys know this um, please if you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior I implore you to do so now I implore you to do so right now in this minute in this moment I ask that you get on your knees that you outstretch your hands toward the heavens and you you say God I'm sorry I repent of my sins I repent of everything that I've done against you I've repented I repent of everything I have said against your name against your will Lord I ask that you come into my heart that you come into my spirit that you come into my mind my soul and my body that you make me right that you cleanse me god that you cleanse me of all of the sins all of the dirt that you make me whole that you make me new that you give me a new spirit that you give me a right spirit that you give me a sound and right mind lord i'm sorry i love you i want a relationship with you I want to know you intimately, to know, to know you, to know the love that you have for me. Lord, I desire to know you. I desire to know your face. I desire to have you and you alone. This I pray in Christ Jesus, your son's name. Amen. I pray that you pray that right now. Because that is going, whew, that is going to bring you the best, best joy, the best 
peace to know that the God that loves you so much, I can't even describe to you just how much he loves you. And some of you are thinking, oh, he can't love me because I'm too dirty. I've done too much. I, I've seen too much. And I want to tell you that the devil is a lie. The devil is a liar and he's lying to you. There is no amount of sin that you can do that will uh, make God not love you any more than he does. He loves you so much. I can't. I just can't describe it to you how much he loves you. And he wants you. He wants to have a relationship with you because you are his precious son. You are his precious daughter. And he desires not, and I, I feel like I need to stress this, God does not desire to see you go to hell. God does not, I'll say it again, God does not desire to see you go to hell. That's not something that he wants. That's not something that he desires. In fact, it breaks his heart. It breaks his heart. So I, I just... I pray that you receive this video, that you receive the message that is within this video. And I pray that you, that you let the Spirit of God enter and that you enter into a new relationship with Christ Jesus. I guarantee you it's going to be one of the best experiences, one of the best decisions that you've ever made. So with this said, family, I'm going to take my leave. Um, I love you, and I will see you soon. God bless.